Hi, I'd like to give you a quick update on the Tethered Flying Machine. Embarrassingly enough, the what I claim to be unload save flying machine, which I call the Tethered Flying Machine, uh, isn't particularly unload safe. And the problem is that it solves the relatively easy to solve problem of that the components of the flying machine come apart. But unfortunately, it doesn't solve the problem, which I don't really understand how it could happen. But the problem ends up being that this slime block here gets stuck to this slime block. Let me try to reproduce this problem, because I have now figured out how to reproduce it. So we're just going to let this one run for a while. And then I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to teleport away and teleport back. And it's still working. And I will continue doing this until it breaks. This actually doesn't take long. This is embarrassingly common problem. Now we see a different problem. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with that, but this shouldn't be a huge problem in practice. This is just this clock just got wonky and got stuck. Um, if you turn the clock on and off on some timer, which probably you should do in a farm, uh, we turn off the clock, we turn the clock back on, and the machine still works. So this is not the big problem. Let me try to reproduce the big problem again. There we go. Both the clock got in some very wonky state. Oh, this is probably how... Oh, now I realized how it breaks. It doesn't break because the flying machine is unreliable. It breaks because the clock goes wonky. Well, we have now an explanation of what's going on in the machine. But anyway, so we stop the clock, as your farm would do. We restart it, still doesn't help. The left one gets repaired, the right one is still broken. But there is a solution. If we make this bar out of honey instead of slime, as long as the clock cycles, the machine can recover itself. Now, I have tested this teleporting away and back, and yes, the clock goes wonky, but since the... Oh, you saw exactly what happened there. The clock got wonky, and the machine ended up in the bad state, but it keeps kinda working. For some reason, this repeater is stuck, permanently turned on. This clock definitely shouldn't look like this, but it does. But, if you have a timer on your clock, it will turn off and eventually turn back on. The left one is now broken, of course, but that's because we didn't change it to honey. But this one keeps working. So I do believe that this is the fix for the problem. I'm looking forward to finding new bugs in uh, how redstone deals with being powered and unloaded at the same time, because that does not seem to be very reliable. Another thing worth noting is that if you're using this in a farm, especially sugarcane or a bamboo farm, you will end up with a completely different loot behavior of the dropped items because of the honey. This is actually an improvement because the slime blocks push and bounce the items quite a long way, while honey has the opposite behavior that things stick to it. A relatively simple solution for items getting stuck on top of the honey is to just add leaves here. Or you could use glazed terracotta or something else that doesn't stick to the honey. And now, if we try this, you can see that repeater was stuck on the honey and now it fell down. So this should solve the loot problem as well. 
overall, this might actually be an improvement for efficiency of farms using this kind of machine. That was just a quick update from me. Thanks for watching, and I hope that your farms work better with this update. Bye!